Äh, ich esse mal drei Stück. What's up guys, this is Jeremy and this is Rosaline and today we're gonna talk about the best she doesn't even know what we're going to do about it. We're going to talk about the best celebrity fragrances, okay? She's going to tell us, obviously, which one she likes for men. And I actually have three fragrances for women. So I got three celebrity fragrances that are pretty nice, that you could totally get your girlfriend or your mom or your sister, whoever. They're not expensive. These three I would suggest to you. Naomi Campbell Private, Britney Spears Fantasy, and Rihanna's Red Fleur. One extra tip, guys and girls that are watching, of course, celebrity fragrances are super cheap. That's a nice benefit, and they always focus on pleasing the masses. So pretty much, you always will get good results with the ladies, I hope. And these three, I would suggest you for the girls. This one, Naomi Campbell Private, is one of the best ones for the office time, for the school time. Very inoffensive. Like seriously, you probably don't know this. She only wears like Molecule or One and expensive Tom Ford stuff. But it's very nice, right? It's like so soft. inoffensive. Like that one so much. This one is something in between Rihanna's Red Fleur. This is a bit of a daytime office thing, but could be also easily used on a date with a guy. And this one is clearly a very feminine, sweet date fragrance. Uh, you can see it from the bottle already. Britney Spears Fantasy. So these three, I would suggest girls, all right? And now here are a few men's celebrity fragrances. And let's see what Rosa, how should I say, Rosa, Rosaline, Rosaline, Rosa, Rosaline, Rosaline, and okay, every time I'm going to do it now. And now we'll see what Rosaline thinks about these fragrances. So, first fragrance right here, this is Michael Jordan Flight. And I can spoiler something already, guys. Every of these upcoming fragrances, except one, is pretty much uh, at least 90% copy of an expensive designer fragrance. So let's see what she thinks. All right, so first one, Michael Jordan Flight. What's your opinion on this one? Super fresh. Super fresh. For maybe summer or spring. Okay. Is it attractive? It's sporty, it's not attractive. You know what you told me earlier? You said you like L'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. Mm -hmm. Do you think this smells kind of similar to that one? A bit, but a little bit stronger though. Yeah, and the thing is, I really think this has a huge similarity with L'Homme and we all know that L'Homme has serious performance issues and I'm not kidding you, this at least has the same performance of L'Homme. It totally has this apple ginger vibe of L'Homme. I really, really do enjoy it. I sprayed it on a couple of my colleagues. I could smell them the whole day. So this is a pretty nice, safe fragrance. I mean, it's not like your, baby, let's go to bed now. It's more like a office daytime. Maybe good for a teenage guy for the school. Yeah, a younger one. A younger guy in the school daytime, I would say that too. What would you say spontaneously from one to ten? A four. <laughs> a four. Okay. All right. Let's start with a four. So four out of ten for Michael Jordan flight. Okay, guys. Next one right here. This is called David Beckham. Beyond. The most creative fragrance name ever. What do you think about this? Is it better? No. Not better. It should be better though. Yeah, so? It's sweeter. Yeah. Just a little bit sweeter. It's more sexy though. It's, it's sexier. Sweeter, a, a bit sweeter. Makes so it for a, a bit older guy. You think you prefer it over this one? I would not? go for it daytime, I would go with this one, and at night I would take that one. Because this is slightly sweeter. And a bit stronger. A bit masculine. Mm -hmm. Okay, but still it doesn't blow you no. away. All right, let's not even waste our time. All right, so next one right here. I do like this bottle. Feels nice, right? You just close the cap and feel it. It's a nice bottle, right? Mm -hmm. Jay-Z Gold, nice stuff, bro. He's one of my old homies. I know him from back in the 80s. 
What do you think about it? I like it. Yeah. This is a really, really underrated good celebrity fragrance. Hmm. What do you think about it? Like, what type of guy could wear this? A business guy, definitely. Mm. Daytime, nighttime, in the office, on a date. I would say office and then after work. Okay. Cool, so versatile. Mm -hmm. Do you see it for one season only? It's so like for hotter days I or would colder say days? For autumn mm -hmm. would be the perfect. I feel so too. It has a nice depth, mm -hmm. it has some sweetness. So in the brutal high summer heat, it would probably be a too bit much. too much, right? Hey guys, this is super awesome. And you know how this smells similar? By the way, I didn't mention uh, David Beckham Beyond has a bit of a Bleu de Chanel vibe. This one actually has a bit of a Parfums de Mali latent vibe. Very, very awesome sweet apple vibe. What would you say from 1 to 10 for this? An 8. An 8 out of 10. That's good, guys. Okay, so 8 out of 10 for Jay-Z Gold. So far, her favorite. Now I want to ask you, what do you think about sexiness scale 1 to 10, Adam Levine? From 1 to 10, you know, Maroon 5. Mm -hmm. What do you think from 1 to 10? Mm, seven, six, 7 out of 10? 6, 7. Let's see how this fragrance will be judged by you. Obviously, you can see it, it's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but it's plain, I like, I like it, it's plain. Clean, simple. What do you think about Adam Levine microphone? Hmm. Hmm. Tricky. Tricky. A lot of citrus in it. You are right about that. Very fruity. Mm -hmm. Very long lasting, by the way. No. No? Not mine. no it reminds me of cleaning devices. Good. I heard that comment. Mm -hmm. I heard that comment actually from another girl already. So this is more uh, known for you or what? Yeah. Okay. This is, guys, this costs like $13 or something for 100 ml. Just, this is probably the cheapest out of all of those. So. Too bad she doesn't like it, the performance is nice, it's somewhat original, but I also have to admit the reactions weren't the best so far. Okay, let's go with the next one. And now we actually have a woman as the celebrity that made a men's fragrance. So watch out what you're saying because she might be looking at this video. This is from Rihanna. Watch out, Rihanna watches my videos always. Rogue man. What do you think? Spicy. Spicy oriental. Mm -hmm. This girl is oriental. She likes spicy oriental stuff. I love it. <sighs> she has a good nose. I actually never asked her about any fragrance opinion, but I really do like... I mean, that was already a great decision. This, one of my favorites from this list, and this one... It's the best so far. Whoa! So that's a 10 out of 10. Do you know few men's fragrances out there? Do you know Dolce mm -hmm. Gabbana the one? Yep. It is very similar to Dolce Gabbana the one. Yep. Is it 10 out of 10? A 10 out of 10. Oh, guys, man. <laughs> so crazy, guys. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for Rogue Man. Yep. 10 out of 10 for Rogue Man. Crazy, awesome, cool. Last one. We have to give it a chance. Okay. This is actually, you know, Crete. Uh, yeah. Today I was wearing Aventus. She immediately recognized it. And this one is actually Sean John Unforgivable. Mm -hmm. And that is a fragrance that is very similar to another Crete fragrance, which you probably don't know, which is called Millicine Imperial. Mm -hmm. And it has a strong... I know the Himalaya one. Oh, uh, you know Himalaya. Cool. This is similar to Millicine Imperial. What do you think? It. You like it? Mm -hmm. Cool. I like it even more than Aventus because it's sweeter. Where should I go out of the room? <laughs> I go with, without my shoes, I go now. <laughs> she likes this more than Aventus. Did you hear that, guys? But why? Because Aventus is too sporty for me. It's too. also citrus. A lot of citrus. Uh, true. Want. True. Cool. This um, is sweeter. Yeah. And I like. I like the strong ones for guys. So. This, by the way, has a bit of a watermelon vibe. Oh, that's it. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. Refreshing. Would you say this is with these two 
your favorites from this list? Yeah. Okay, cool. Very good choices, I have to say. Rogue Man by Rihanna, Jay-Z Gold, Sean John, Unforgivable. Very nice trio. Hold on. Which one is... So that one is... This is Puff Daddy, and this is Jay-Z. I prefer that one. Whoa! Love it! Very good. Okay, and then we got the finals. Between these two, Rogue Man versus Unforgivable. Rogue Man got that one. Guys, this is an awesome girl. Uh, you know where I met her? I'm not kidding you, I met her in Milan at the Ask Sense. So, very cool stuff. And um, today's winner is Rogue Man by Rihanna, a fragrance that is unbelievably cheap and one of the good fragrances that have somewhat a similar vibe to Dolce Gabbana The One. Good. And this one, Sean John Unforgivable, second place, somewhat a similar vibe to Millicent Imperial. And this one, don't miss out on that one as well. This is Jay-Z Gold, somewhat similar to Parfums de Mali later. Thank you very much. I am already sure that my viewers love you. Um, do you have anything to say? No. Should we go for a walk now? Yes. Okay, the sun is shining. Let's get out of the office. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Yes. See you next time. What do you what? say? I what said you say? Merci, you said? Yeah. Okay, good. Just <laughs> my <laughs> Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching. That was it. Uh, see you next time with another video. Peace.